lots of people suffer from writer's block. And what is writer's block, actually? <laughs> Why don't we ask ChatGPT? What is writer's block? So writer's block is a condition in which the author is unable to produce. So it's basically when you are blocked from writing. Why do people get writer's block? Lots of reasons. Sometimes it's because you don't have an idea. Sometimes uh, you're stressed. Sometimes people get writer's block because of anxieties or insecurities. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to use ChatGPT to try to get over writer's block or kickstart your writing. Okay, so let me start with this prompt. Please write the opening paragraph of an academic paper, scientific paper, about the role of sleep in second language learning. Okay, so here I'm basically just des describing what I want. So the opening paragraph of a paper, I'm stating the target audience. I'm saying what the paragraph should contain uh, in terms of the general points that the paragraph should make. I'm not including this as a list of bullet points. Uh, instead, I'm just giving a description using natural language of what the paragraph should include and how it should end. What are the main topics that should be mentioned in that paragraph? Okay, so this looks like a pretty decent start. Now, I have to say, I just thought up this uh, prompt. I'm not an expert on these topics. Uh, language learning, sleep and cognition. I don't really know uh, much about any of these topics, so I am not in a good position to evaluate the academic scientific quality of this paragraph. If you are familiar with these topics, if you are an expert on language learning and sleep, then by all means, please uh, post to the Q&A and give me your uh, evaluation. I would be curious to read it. What I can certainly say is that it reads well. Um, and this is something you always see with ChatGPT. It is a very confident and authoritative writer. Okay, but notice that there are no references in this paragraph at all. So I'm going to ask uh, ChatGPT to rewrite this paragraph with a few citations at relevant places. Now, I'm not specifying the number of citations or the format of these citations, nor am I telling ChatGPT which sentences or which claims need to be referenced. I will let ChatGPT try to figure that out on its own. Okay, so uh, ChatGPT replied with another paragraph that includes numbers in brackets, but what do those numbers correspond to? Um, also, by the way, notice that the formatting of the citations matches the formatting that I used a couple of videos ago. When was that? Okay, I found it. I don't remember exactly which video uh, it was, but this should look familiar to you. Um, it, I had citations using this format with numbers in brackets. So I replied, can you please make a references list so I can see which sources you cited? And ChatGPT gave a, kind of a weird reply that said, as an AI developed by OpenAI, the name of the company, I cannot directly access databases, but I can suggest hypothetical references based on common knowledge in the field uh, up to September 21. Here's an example of what the references could look like. Okay, so this all makes me very suspicious that uh, ChatGPT just did some hallucinations here, and these might not be appropriate references. So if I were actually writing a paper um, and I were having writer's block and I use ChatGPT in this way, uh, I would definitely take this paragraph, sorry, um, this paragraph without citations as a starting point for me to work with and improve and modify. I am a little bit concerned about what ChatGPT says about its own references here. Uh, that said, the titles of these papers do look relevant, so I, I think it could be appropriate, but uh, I would certainly want to check each and every one of these citations before I would actually put them in the paper. Again, this is not my area of expertise, so I am not able to um, evaluate the quality of these, although I definitely know several of these authors. So um, at least uh, uh, ChatGPT isn't getting it completely wrong in this case. Okay, I'm going to switch gears a little bit topic-wise and, and slightly thematic-wise, um, but you'll see this is the next demonstration is along the same lines of using ChatGPT to help us get over uh, write, writer's block when we're stuck with writing. 
So here the prompt is, I'm stuck in writing a discussion section to a scientific manuscript. I will paste below two sentences. Can you please suggest a few points to discuss after this? So basically, I'm giving ChatGPT a little bit of text. So I'm asking ChatGPT, what should be the next thing? What should I talk about next? That is literally exactly what ChatGPT is designed to do. That is the mathematical architecture that underlies ChatGPT. It's to select the next word based on the history of words. Okay, and that's all I'm asking ChatGPT to do. So ChatGPT responded with six specific suggestions. Some of these are a little bit generic, discuss the implications of the findings uh, for you know, the, the particular terms that I mentioned in the two sentences. Some of them are a little bit more specific, but um, you know, I'm not asking ChatGPT to write the discussion section for me. I'm telling ChatGPT, this is what I have so far, and please help me figure out what I should do next. I have one more demonstration for this video. This would be a demonstration for where you have the abstract written and you're struggling with beginning to uh, write the introduction section. Or maybe uh, you have an abstract and you have an outline for the intro and you're not sure if you've really included all the topics that you need to. So now let me paste in a bunch of text here. And uh, I write, so this is the prompt here. I will paste in an abstract of a scientific manuscript can you please suggest a few important topics to mention in the introduction section? So that is my prompt. And then everything after this is the abstract. It's a complete abstract. I'm not asking for any feedback of the abstract itself. I'm not asking ChatGPT to rewrite the abstract or anything along those lines. I'm just asking ChatGPT to help me figure out what I need to include in the intro based on what is already in the abstract. So ChatGPT's reply is a suggestion of topics that I should include in the introduction. So introduce neural oscillations, frequency ranges, and so on. Um, yeah, some of these are generic. Some of these are more or less useful. And at the end, ChatGPT is reminding us to cite relevant literature throughout the introduction to provide context and support for your statements. Very nice. So that is all the demos for this video. I hope you found them interesting. The key take-home message from this video is that you can use ChatGPT as a Kickstarter to help you get back into the swing of writing when you are stuck with writer's block.